Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 4th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a good rest last night, ready for a wild morning. We've got a employment situation number coming out this morning that there is a lot of gravity put on this today. So we'll explain that in just a little bit, but let's take a look at what happened overnight here really quickly. First off, Asian markets were a bit on the mixed side. Um, South Korea was a little bit higher. Um, Australia was a little bit lower. The Nikkei um, was a little bit higher, 0.22%. Hong Kong had a big upside day, 2.82% up or $623 as they continue to really celebrate um, the changes, the stimulus from China. And remember, uh, the Shanghai was closed once again last night. If we uh, take a look at European markets, a little bit of a mix going on. The DAX is looking um, to move up 0.20%. FTSE is down 0.42%. And the CAC is up 0.5%. 5.1%. So kind of an interesting little mix um, as they are also very focused on our jobs report um, this morning. Here in the U.S., we're trying to stay bullish. We fluctuated a little bit up and down here since I've turned on my computer this morning, but the Dow futures are um, up 0.05%. Um, S&P futures up 0.23 and NASDAQ futures up 0.35%. Now there is a little bit of reason for um, a bit of celebration today. The dock worker strike has ended already. They came to a tentative agreement. Um, it will be, and the reason it's tentative for the re remaining details to be negotiated, I guess, um, extending their contract until January 14th or 15th, something like that. Um, but they did receive, I believe, what they agreed upon is like a 67.5% increase in salaries. So pretty amazing it didn't last very long, and that is a really good thing for the market. Let's take a look at um, other things here. If we look at bonds this morning, bonds are... Well, we're moving up here in these bonds. It is not a good thing um, right now for uh, the market to see these bonds continuing to move up on this worry of this data point today. Uh, Two-year bond is at 3.72. The 10-year bond has moved up to 3.86%. And the 30-year bond, 4.18%. So moving up pretty solidly in those bonds as we wait for this data. If we take a look at oil, boy, oil had another really big day yesterday. If we look at um, XLE, boy, we have really been surging back up. Now, this is a, just a, a massive impulse wave. Any rest or consolidation pullback that holds a higher low, I would suggest sets up a pretty good opportunity and a big change here in oil. As Middle Eastern tensions continue to grow, we um, are looking at oil right now. Oil futures are up a dollar ten a barrel at, um, at seventy four eighty one a barrel, and Brent crude is flirting with eighty dollars again, up a dollar. Uh, 12 a barrel at 78.74. Boy, what a difference a week has made in the oil markets. And natural gas, if we take a look there, natural gas is pr uh, pretty much flat this morning. But if on uh, the UNG uh, natural gas ETF, this is still a beautiful, very bullish looking chart. On the precious metal side of things, gold has been flirting back and forth between green and red and pretty much flat here um, right now as you can see here in gold futures um, kind of flat but if you look here gold's just resting in this consolidating pattern and of course that uncertainty that uncertainty that we're facing in the market geopolitically is creating a lot of volatility in this as well. Silver is down just a tiny little bit here this morning, but we've got copper up slightly, platinum and palladium all trying to push higher this morning. 
Then if we take a look at those crypto markets, cryptos are trying to get a nice little bounce back up. Uh, BITO trying to push back up just a little bit here this morning right now. Uh, Bitcoin is up $530 a coin. Um, Ether is up $30 a coin. And we're mostly green across those cryptos here this morning. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. Now, what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Shake off that bias. Remember, we want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be, and see if we can figure out how the best way we can approach the market for today. Well, first off, looking at the diamonds, there's no way. I mean, you look at this chart. This is a bullish chart. And although it's been a very frustrating couple of weeks with all of this choppiness, um, well, maybe today's data can break us from this. I don't know. But we should probably expect um, that we could stick in this area as well because of the blackout period and the declining um, breadth that we've seen in the market. But having said that, if the bulls can find inspiration here today, well, we can see up here we need to break through this area of resistance. And certainly there is that possibility with as much weight as everyone's putting on this employment number today, that could be possible. But watch that carefully popping up through here. Then we've got a little bit more to run up to take out the all time high print here. But it wouldn't take all that much effort to get a new record high close here in the diamonds if we can find some inspiration today. And then if the bears were to come in with inspiration today, well, we'll look at this opportunity right in here, a push back down to break that support. Once again, doesn't seem all that hard uh, for the market to potentially do that. And then pushing on down, breaking this little consolidation in here and pushing down to this next level of support. Now, as you notice right here, that would constitute a potential failure of these upside trends that I've got drawn in here. And a, uh, any failure beyond that point would probably raise some significant fear, I think, in the market. We'd still be well above our 50-day moving average, but it would raise some fear in the market. Now, one of the situations that we've got on that jobs front is the major concern that if the jobs number were to come in hot, we've seen um, numbers this week, we've seen the ADP, We've seen a job openings report, both increasing in jobs. And what the, the worry is, is if that jobs number comes in stronger than expected, well, that's going to give the Fed the reason to back off uh, rate cuts. And um, we'll probably stick with a 25 basis point cut, but I think everyone is really hoping that they get a an even bigger rate cut um, this time around. So. Watch carefully here, this, this could be really important today. Then if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, same situation, we're just locked in this range here. As you can see, if the bulls can find inspiration, the first thing I would do is come right up through here and say, well, first we need to break up through there. If we can break through there, then we'll worry about breaking through that little bit of resistance right there for that upside move. I think certainly possible on um, a data point that inspires the market. And then we've got blue sky above in that situation. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, you notice we've tried down here, we've pushed a couple of times to come down here and kind of bounce and test this area of price support here in the chart. Should that break today, a break of that down uh, that level could potentially also break this next little level below, which is really close and tight, and that upside trend. And I think that might raise a little bit of concern if we were to give those up um, on a Friday, 
we'll have to watch that carefully. And if they were to give up and come down into here, we could still catch that bounce. It wouldn't be too terrible bad, but breaking below there, that's going to raise, I think, some serious concern in the market. Now, we're still going to be in that circumstance above our 50-day moving average, but I think we'd see some fear creep up in the market. If we look at the QQQ, QQQ, well, very similar situation, except we haven't made all-time high breakouts here in the Qs just yet. We've got a support level right in here. We've got some resistance right in here. And then, of course, that move back up to retest this recent high. So if the bulls were to find that inspiration here today, we, first we need to punch through there and then punch right on up into this level of resistance of the chart. Now, getting through there, I think we're going to need a little bit more of an extra push. But getting through there, we'll start coming back up into here. And then we really have that chance. Um, to test those all-time highs here in the queues. If the bears, however, um, find inspiration, it could really mess up that idea of uh, catching new highs here in the market. Because if we were to push down and retest this support and happen to break that area, that'd be the first test. Second test, just a little bit lower. The underneath side of these little consolidations in there are going to be important. And notice that's gonna be laying right there on that upside trend. If that were to give up here and we were to drop below there, I really think we're gonna see some a little bit of fear, maybe even a little bit of panic come into the market if that were to drift through that area of the chart. And then of course, um, we'll still be above our 50 day moving average, but a test all the way back down here to our 50 day moving average, I do think would raise a little bit of concern for the market. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM, this is the only chart that we are officially showing a little downtrend here. We made a lower high followed by a lower low. And although it is trying to um, bounce back up in here, first thing we've got to do is get through this resistance, get through that resistance and that little downtrend. Certainly possible with today's data. Watch that carefully. If it does, pop up in there, we're going to be looking at some price resistance right across here that we're going to have to deal with to move on through. And then, of course, beyond that point, we'll be trying to stretch back up into here in um, IWM. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, having failed this area of the chart, a failure into here, could really start pushing us down in the Russell. IWM coming back down through some of these levels and maybe even testing this kind of flat trend line here to the upside, um, testing that for some support. Now, keeping in mind, failure there would raise some concern in the market. And if we take a look here on our uh, moving averages, well, we're trying to hang in there right on the 50 day. So a failure here of that 50 day going to raise a little bit of concern, I think, if that were to occur. So there's a lot of weight placed on this data here this morning, and we'll have to see what happens um, when that comes out. And your guess is as good as mine. If we take a look at the VIX, our VIX rose a little bit more yesterday, running into a little bit concern as we were selling off and feeling that pressure from the Middle Eastern tensions. Um, we'll want to watch that closely here, breaking that downtrend, pushing back up through some of these levels of price resistance in the chart is we are seeing that fear um, trying to come up here. But today's data could change things pretty dramatically. It could either expand this fear, maybe pushing up to test that resistance in the chart or beyond coming even a little bit higher or Maybe we get that good data that inspires the bulls and we see that push back to maybe test this area of support, possibly even break that back down to come into this downtrend and test this area. So just be a little bit careful this morning as that data comes out and it comes out before the bell. So anything is possible by the time we open. And if we take a look at our T20s, our T2122, this actually, I, I know the pullback in the market is not anything anyone ever 
ever wants to see, but I think this was a good pullback, at least at the moment, because we really haven't lost any ground on the Diamond Spy or QQQ. We haven't had any technical breaks at all in the price action, but we have relieved a lot of that overbought pressure here. So if that data does inspire the bulls today, well, we've certainly opened an upside opportunity for them to get something going here if um, they find that uh, that inspiration. And if the bears were to find inspiration, well, you can see we've got just a little bit less, not quite equal right now, there's 50%, not quite equal that opportunity to move down. So if you're looking at it at a chart like this, and um, it's kind of like we're straddling a fence, that barbed wire can grab us on both sides of that fence and be a little bit painful. We'll want to watch this pretty carefully and here's that that chance that, um, where I said, your guess is as good as mine. We've got some pretty equal weight in there, uh, depending on how that data comes out. And if we take a look at our T2108, uh, now our T2108 did lose a little bit of support yesterday, pushing back. But as I told the members of RWO yesterday at the close of the day, I don't think this is, this is not showing any kind of major issue or worry just yet. We're still above the 50% area here in the chart. So um, more than 50% of the stocks above their 40 day is not a bearish situation. Um, however, if that data were to come out um, ugly today, you could see the possibility that we could break that raising some concern. But if those uh, that data point is good, maybe we're back up here testing some of these resistance levels in the chart. Now T2107 did a little bit better job yesterday, kind of hung in there. You can see we pulled back, kind of holding on to this support area here in the chart. 57% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. I don't see that as um, all that ugly as well. But we still have that concern if that data is bad today, we could start dropping down in here, or maybe we'll come back up and retest some of these resistance levels depending on how the numbers come out today. So watch that. Our big problem continues to be breadth. Um, we had a hook back up here yesterday. Unfortunately, that hook back up was breadth increasing just ever so slightly on the sell wave. They didn't really catch any major push to the upside, but that's not something you want to see if you're um, um, a bull in the market is to see the the bears starting to gain a little bit of confidence but i don't think it was enough confidence in here to be too worrisome um, it's all about this data today so um, what we don't want to see what we don't want to see is we don't want to see a big rally here in the market and continue to see the breadth decline we need to see um, if we're going to push up, we need to see that be accompanied by some breadth because um, a big push to the upside without accompanying breadth is something that likely can't hold. So watch that carefully. And unfortunately, we're still in that corporate buyback uh, blackout where corporations can't do much here to aid or um, you know, help along the way. So we could really see that breadth continue to be weak here um, all the way through next Friday, the 11th, when we begin the big bank earnings reports. Let's take a look at um, our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, what I've been talking about and what we're gonna be dealing with here, whoops, wrong thing. Our economic calendar today, we're going to be dealing with this employment situation number. And if we look at the consensus numbers, this, if we come in like this, it wouldn't be too bad at all. Consensus is suggesting 132,000, but I want you to notice the consensus range is uh, pretty pretty wild here, um, between 70 and 180,000. Um, they're looking at the unemployment rate staying the same. Um, they are expecting private payrolls to increase. We just need to stay that, keep them rather subdued or going down to help the Fed 
continue to lower those rates and as you can see right here um, they've got quite a wide range here as well in those estimates uh, past that we got a manufacturing payroll which um, interestingly enough they're not giving an estimate on participation rate not a, no estimate on average hourly they're looking for the average hourly earnings month over month to decline by one tenth and the year over year hourly earnings to decline by one tenth and the work week to stay virtually the same right in there so um, the headline number is what everyone's going to be thinking about and watching and um, watch for that reaction this morning prior to the open when that comes out now beyond that there's not much here to worry about we've got uh, William speaking here today and we've got a Baker Hughes rate count so all of the energy will be um, expended right here all of that emotion coming out um, before the bell so watch that close now if we take a look at our earnings calendar we just don't have much in there to provide us inspiration today as well the only thing that I've got in here for maybe an inspiring um, earnings report is APOG and APOG getting a little bump up this morning um, as a result of its earnings so trying to help out a little bit there so keep an eye on that that's the only earnings report for today so what is um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me that favor this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and uh, also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to grow I do try to answer those comments um, uh, um, I know I missed there for just a little while but I'm back on task and and uh, answering those comments I truly truly appreciate it and I also just a big shout out to everyone who continues to um, share these videos on your social media feed um, even seeing some Facebook folks thank you out there sharing um, the link here um, for the video thank you I really truly appreciate it that helps a lot and thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are awesome let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up remember everyone these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and also remember boy anything is possible this morning we could have some pretty big uh, moves and possible whipsaws depending on how the market reacts to this morning's data. So let's take a look. First off, um, I added something to um, my um, watch list here to be paying attention to, uh, McDonald's. Take a look right in there. We've been pushing up in this chart, coming right back up here to this resistance, trying to break through up here, and then we've got this nice little resting consolidation here, trying to hold on to that upside trend and support. Notice a breakout up here would be blue sky highs and mickey d's could have some more upside potential so keep an eye on mcd looking pretty darn good take a look at dash dash continues to look really good in this tight little consolidation here in the market um, it's looking for some kind of inspiration here to get things going you will want to pay attention that it's going to report on the 30th of the month and it is possible we could remain in this choppy consolidation up until then but if we can get a good bullish push here in the market i would look for some opportunities maybe there in dash looking really good and if we pull back you can see there is upside opportunity to be had in dash to test some of those higher highs in the market Gilead continues to set up in this really nice consolidating pattern as well this little pop out of the box and you can see we tried to get something going yesterday ended up just fading back we're coming closer and closer to trend watch that closely if we can get inspiration today we might just push right on through and notice we've got some resistance areas up here we could easily put in as a target zone for that move to the upside watch that carefully on gilead you know i'm still really 
um, interested in this trade on Cleveland. Oops, I'm sorry. There we go. On Cleveland. Cleveland is a very nice looking chart. Nice little resting consolidation in here. And it has slipped past this trend. We're looking for that um, that love to come into the market instead of this choppy um, low breadth situation. Um, tried to pop yesterday, just couldn't quite get her going. Or, I mean, the day before yesterday. Now let's watch and see if it can push on through here on Cleveland. Steel is trying to come up, and one of the key elements in here is if we see the dollar decline. Now, good data point here today that inspires the market will probably bring those bond yields down. And as the bond yields down, I would look for the US dollar to decline. We found a little bit of a shooting star up here yesterday in uh, UUP. And as you can see, we're trying to push that uh, back up here this morning with those bond yields running higher. If this data point is good, I would look for a pullback here. And then I would be taking a look at some of those commodity things like um, Cleveland Cliffs, some of the steel areas of the market, taking a look at things like gold in the market that's resting in this nice little consolidating mode looking for that opportunity if the dollar falls that continues to move on higher maybe looking into silver making a look into um, soybeans that um, had a really good day yesterday and pushing up so i would watch this in here for that possibility of that push on higher here if the dollar weakens take a look at wheat Wheat looking good in here, a little resting pullback the last couple of days. Look for that next opportunity in here along the trend for that to push on through um, if we see the dollar fall. So keep an eye on those. Other places with the dollar, boy, let's keep an eye on energy because we know we still have that uncertainty out there with the Middle East. Um, rising prices pretty steadily here with that uncertainty and if the dollar falls well I would look for the potential of energy to continue to extend and I would include in that not just oil and gas but I would go into a natural gas to be keeping an eye on that because we're looking really good coming up out of this bottoming pattern notice we've made that run from the 50 day right up here to the 200 day that's a completion of our round of bottom breakout pattern now any kind of rest or consolidation in here it could set up that next move right on through that 200 day so watch that closely if we see that weakening of the dollar look for these commodity prices to move up take a look at boil if you'd rather be trading boil beautiful break here of this bottoming pattern any rest consolidation in here would set up a next entry point and you can see that coming up through that 50 looking good here on some of those natural gas plays so watch that carefully there's also the consideration that we're going to have to start utilizing natural gas pretty heavily to supply enough energy for all of these data centers that are just sucking up so much um, power on this AI front so um, they may be restarting a whole bunch of these natural gas power plants to uh, supply data for AI. Let's take a look um, so at some other places. I'm really liking the way Roku is looking here. Nice little consolidation. It has slipped past its trend, but nice little tight consolidation in here. We're just looking for some inspiration in uh, the market here. We'll get a little bit of momentum coming and we might see Roku move and then you'll notice over here we've got a gap that could be filled so pretty nice upside opportunity if it can get going in there moving to the upside so there's quite a few stocks for you to look at today quite a few things moving around here in the market remember today's data could change everything and it could change everything really quickly so all we can do is wait but when we get that reaction today, remember the, the way the market has been acting, we can catch a pretty substantial 
whipsaw as well. So don't just jump right in. Um, don't dive in head first, just right at the first second. Make sure you're paying pretty close attention to those resistance levels, support levels, trend levels in the chart because that can help you navigate those whipsaws carefully. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. I want to wish you great results in your trading today and also a fantastic weekend. Everyone take care. Be safe. I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the very best.